Hey, it's me, Albini. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're playing Red Green Kozuki Odin. This is your red and green leader from EBO1. And I personally think he's the strongest leader in EBO1. So, yeah. With that being said, this video is going to be covering, it's basically a guide slash blueprint of the deck and what cards you probably should be playing. And I'm gonna basically talk you through it. Talk about each card, read each effect, because maybe you like to hear the cards read to you. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. We're gonna start with the leader. This is Red Green Kozuki Odin. Five cost, slash attribute. Ability, according to the rules. Okay, I'm sorry. According to the rules, your characters with the type Land of Wano without a counter have plus 1,000. This first part of the effect means all of your non-counter Land of Wano character cards have plus 1k counter. This is really strong and honestly ridiculous. Dawn X1 when attacking, if you have a 5 cost or greater Land of Wano character in play, this character gets plus 1000 power until the start of your next turn. This means when attacking, it's a 7k body and on your opponent's turn, it's a new gate. You know, it's a 6k body. This is really good. This leader is very, very good defensively. So with that being said, we're going to jump into the first card. Starting off with EBO1's Izo. 5 cost, 7,000 power. Range, on play, attach up to one Rested Dawn to your leader or one of your characters. Ability. When opponent attack, once per turn, you may trash one land of... Mm, you may trash one card from your hand. If your leader has the Land of Wano or White Beard Pirates type, give up to one of your opponent's leaders or characters minus 2000 power for the turn so essentially if they attack you trash a card as long as you're playing a leader that contains land of wano as well as white beard pirates you can give a minus 2k to that character slash leader so this is a really good reactive effect as well as it being on a 5k not a 5k a 7k body it's really good especially because it has 1k counter because it procs the first part of the leader's effect. That being said, we're moving on to the next card. Next up is Yamato from EBO1, five cost, 5,000 power, strike attribute, 2k counter, activate main, once per turn, give up to one, press the dawn, to your leader or characters. So this is basically the same effect as Izo on the first half, except for it's once per turn and not only on play. This is really good for Odin, as Odin's secondary effect requires one Dawn attached, so both Izo and Yamato can attach a Dawn at certain points in the game, also being a 5k body, to set up for the secondary effect and making them 7k and 6k on your opponent's turn. Next up, and last of the red cards, we have Otama. This is two cost, 2k counter, one cost, zero power. On play, give it to one of your opponent's characters, minus 2k power, during this turn. This is Otama. It's been around forever, since the beginning of the game. This card's been a menace to society. Now, it's in a leader at home, and is searchable. This card, it's just gonna get better, over time. On to our first green card, we're gonna talk about another OP01 Menace, Izo. This is 3 cost, 3000 power, ranged, 2k counter. On play, rest up to one of your opponent's characters, with a cost of four or less. This effect is really strong. It was strong back then and it's strong now. And it's still at home in Wano, really good. Next up is four copies of Okiku. This is three cost, 5,000 power, slash. Dawn X1, when attacking once per turn, rest up to one of your opponent's characters with 5,000, with five cost or less. I'm gonna keep saying thousand, I don't know why. Uh, this effect is really strong, menace to society since OP01. And it's also a nine scabbard. That meaning you can play Dinjiro, not Dinjiro, Kinemon in this deck because the leader is Kazuki Odin. And you would also have the implications of restanding while swinging using the Kiku. Although the effect is once per turn. Let me keep that in mind. Next up is another OP01 card, Dinjiro. Five cost, 7,000 power, slash. Dawn X1 when attacking if your leader is Kazuki Odin, which red green Odin is. Set up to two of your Dawn is active. This effect is Green Odin's effect on a 8k body. This card is ridiculous. Both this card and Okiku utilizes the leader's first part of the effect, making them 1k counters. On to the next card is Yamato. This is the secret rare Yamato from OP01. 
5 cost, 5,000 power, strike, 1k counter. This character's name is also treated as Kazuki Odin. Double attack and banish. This card is a absolute monster in this deck. This is fodder for any effects that you want to get rid of to make your opponent use. They will target this card if they see it or it stays on the board and then your opponent has a two damage dealing banish monster that they have to deal with for the next foreseeable future. So odds are it's going to get removed. But if they don't, this card single handedly can win games. On to Momonosuke. This is our one cost, zero uh, power, slash, counter, plus 1,000. Activate main, standard searcher, standard Bonnie style searcher. Rest one dawn, you may rest this character. Look at the top five cards of your deck, reveal up to one of your Wano Country type cards and add it to your hand, then place them on the bottom of the deck in any order. So yeah, this grabs anything. It doesn't say a specific color. This grabs anything, Wano Country and Land of Wano. So that's going to be your Izos, your Yamatas, your Otamas, your Izos green, your Okikus, your, your Kinemons, your Dinjiros, your Yamatos. It grabs everything. This card is mandatory for of no question. Next up is two copies of eight cost Odin. This is eight cost, 8,000 power slash activate main. Once per turn, rest three dawn, set this character's active on KO, play up to one Wano Country type character with a cost of three or less from your deck, then shuffle it. This second effect is very rare. There's rarely cards that play them straight from the deck, but they put it on this character and this character does not have counter naturally. So it procs the leader effect to give it 1k counter. Um, also, the three cost targets are obviously your Rizo, no, your Izo, also Rizo if you play it, your Okiku and the other nine scabbards, as well as other Land of Wano cards. Moving on to our only blocker, we have Cat Viper. This is three cost, 4,000 power, slash, blocker, Land of Wano, nine scabbards, and Mink Tribe. So, you know, just mentioning that. Uh, no counter, so Prox Leader's effect to give it 1k counter. On to Yamato, four cost, 6,000 power, strike, this character is also, Neem is also treated as Kazuki Odin. On play, rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 6,000, six or less. Oh my gosh, I'm messing this up. But yeah, it rests six costs on play or less. So really, really good. It procs the leader effect to give it 1k counter and it's a four, six body. Last card before we start covering the spicy cards in the deck. This is Ryuma, Land of Wano, Anthro Bark. Four costs, 6,000 power, strike, no, slash, slash attribute. On play, and on KO, KO up to one of your opponent's rested characters with a cost of four or less. This is a really, really good card, and you will be really surprised how often you get both effects off. People kind of forget it's also on KO often, but it happens more often than not. This character also doesn't have counter naturally, so it procs the leader effect to give it one K counter. Onto the spicy cards, we're gonna start with four copies of Dracul Mihawk from ST12. 3 cost, 4,000 power, slash, 2k counter, on play, if you have 2 or less characters, play up to 1 for cost or lower, uh, Shuri, I don't know how to say that word, but it's like the, um, island that Mihawk resides in, and he has, like, a bunch of, like, monkeys that do sword fighting, that trains aura, whatever, you, you know, you get the point, but that's not the effect that we're focusing on, we're focusing on the slash trait, which if you look up, a lot of the Land of Wano cards that are 3 cost or less, have slash but specifically the ones that we have are okiku momonosuke ryuma cat viper and yeah that's a lot of the deck so it's an immediate four of oh that character also comes in as rested other than dracomi you, you can't play another copy of himself as well as it has to come in rested let's get that point across but the last card that makes the whole deck go round it is kozuki hiyori from ebo1 four cost zero power wisdom 1k counter, activate main, you may place this card into your trash, place up to one five cost or less land of Wano type character other than Kazuki Yori from your hand into play, then draw one card. This character literally cheats out your five costs to proc your leader effects early, prepping them to be on the field earlier so that you can swing with them. It's honestly ridiculous. This card, Hard carries the deck. If you don't see it, you're going to feel the effects. If you do see it, you're probably eating good. This card's targets are Yamato, Dinjiro, Yamato Red, Izo, as well as any other five cost and land of Wano character you play, but the ones that are in the deck are those cards. But yeah, that's the deck list. Here it is. Share it, steal it, you know, 
make it work. But you're here for the blueprint, so I'm going to give you the mandatory cards that I think, in my opinion, that you kind of need to play in order to make the deck work. All right, here you go. Here's the blueprint, or what I would see as the blueprint. First part of your leader's effect, make use of it. A lot of Land of Wano cards do not have counter, so you can honestly squeeze in anything from Land of Wano that doesn't have counter. You can make an argument for that, but we're going to focus on the leader effect to try and optimize it a little bit, as well as your uh, five cost characters so that you can actually proc your second effect. You have Izo. Izo is very important. He's made in the set literally for this leader, as well as a Whitebeard leader coming up in the next future sets or the past sets. His on play effect attaches a Dawn to the leader, so he literally will proc the leader effect on his own. And you get a bonus effect from your opponent attacking. It's, it's a really good card. On to Yamato. Yamato is a 5 cost, 5,000 power. So 5 cost meaning it'll proc the second effect as well as Yamato's own effect, giving a rest at dawn just like Izo's first part of his effect. Then yeah, it literally just sets up Odin's second effect if you haven't already attacked. Moving on to Izo. Izo green is just a really good 2k counter. It rests cards if need be. It's a counter card in hand. It's searchable. It's like a Wano. It's honestly, I don't see why you wouldn't play it. Okiku, a really, really good card. So it's not five cost, so it doesn't proc leader effect, but you get the rest of five cost or less using this character. And it gains counter because of the first part of the leader effect. Next up is Momonosuke. This is your searcher. Searches everything, Wano country, land of Wano. I don't know why you would not play four copies of it, but it is going to also have another companion in OPO7, being a Otama that searches cards as well. That Otama not having the Bonnie style effect like this Momonosuke, it's actually going to have a standard 1k searcher effect. So it'll just look at the top five and put the bottom, uh, put it on the bottom is also cannot search itself. So yeah, it's going to be a good addition to add with the Momonosuke. I don't know if you'll play a different ratio of Momonosuke to Otama, but I personally will probably play four and four. And on to the last card, well, second to last card, Denjiro. It's, you have Kazuki Odin as your leader. I don't see why you wouldn't play this card. It has Dawn Recursion, it's a big body, and it gets 1k counter from the leader. This is a standard card, I don't know why you would not play it. On to the last card, the card that makes the whole deck go round, it is Hiori. This Hiori, amazing, it cheats out your 5 costs early, as well as draws you a card. The benefits of this is ridiculous. You can literally play down Hiori on turn 4, not turn 4. I meant turn 2 going 2nd, you can play down Hiori going 2nd on turn 2, the first opportunity you get to attack. Lay it down, cheat out a Yamato or your Izo, as well as put that Dawn on the leader, swing seven, and then have your leader be a 6k leader on the next turn. This card is really, really good. Instant four of. So that's the list. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section down below. Tell me what you changed. Tell me what you add. Tell me what I got wrong. Let's just start a conversation down there. And if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.